the discovery of Krishna is a very important event that took place in my life. I have right from a very young age an aversion towards Vishnu. That's how I grew up. And that had a great impact on my finances from a very early uh, time on. But then a couple of years ago, a miracle happened that I was drawn to Vishnu. There was a special India trip where I was uh, forced to go to nine of the Vishnu temples. Krishna is the ultimate expression of Vishnu. Now, ever since that happened, my visits uh, to the nine temples, my attitude towards money changed and then that had tremendous amount of impact on my life. And then after that we went to the birthplace of Krishna and then we also went to the birthplace of Radha and all the shrines associated with Krishna. Then I began to take a very keen interest on Krishna and then he began to come to me more and more often. The solution for people who have financial problems, because I'm very committed, as you know, to solve the financial problems of the people, is that uh, uh, Krishna can solve it. That's why the upcoming the birth uh, day a celebration of Krishna called Krishna Jayanti is very important uh, for all of my devotees whom I sincerely want to help uh, on the financial front. So it's a day to be celebrated, remembered and uh, and worshipped for uh, changing the financial problems. So what we are going to do is make you available a very special statue that can carry the image, uh, yeah, the energy of Krishna. And I have uh, ordered uh, the makers of the statue to follow certain procedures so that the energy is uh, kept within the statue. I am deeply into uh, the image worship because any image, for instance, can uh, replicate your energy. One of the devotees were able to make my statue to drink milk and that is in the website also. So if you keep a statue and the statue is properly made, then the statue comes alive. So we are making the statue according to the prescriptions that I have given to them. Sands collected from some important temples are included in the statue. And we have to worship this statue with some uh, tulsi leaves. Uh, and they are available even in the United States in Indian stores. You can have uh, also uh, grow it. You can actually grow this even in, in the East Coast where um, at room temperature they will survive. So if you put uh, some tulsi leaves, he will come alive. And these statues I have uh, instructed people have to be taken to a particular temple, Pasupati temple, where uh, the wedding um, ceremony between Krishna and Radha to be performed. So the, the statues that you would be going to receive would have gone through ceremony. I want everyone to have uh, this statue energized uh, in two ways. One with the uh, herbs and all those is sand collected from shrines of uh, Krishna and also the wedding ceremony performed at uh, between Radha and Krishna. Just to say Radha and Krishna is to access their energy. And if you want more information on um, Krishna's uh, advice on money, you have to go to the Bhagavad Gita third chapter where he says uh, how you can get whatever you want to get materially, whatever you want to Enjoy Ishtan Bhogan, whatever you desire to enjoy. You can receive all of them through doing a fire ritual for Krishna. So all these statues after energization will be offered a fire ritual. And that how the statue is going to be full of power. 
you have my blessings so that everybody can live without uh, any financial problems krishna doesn't only represent financial problems is against everything that is painful because his uh, world itself is full of joy the pleasure garden of krishna the youthful sports of krishna the romance of krishna the need to keep uh, the experience on the earth plane in a pleasant way you know it's all krishnas so let's uh, remember these uh, activities of krishna on this very important day his birthday